hotel room. Yeah, now. Stop, Stop the reducing of the four lanes. Yes. We want our four lanes. There are other things we can do with that money. There are other aspects of the road diet that we need. We just don't need the reduction of the four lanes. My name is George Grant, and uh, I used to be the store manager over here at uh, Big Star on Sutel, 4714 Sutel, for six years. And if there was not proper laneage, no one would have come to that store to shop because there would be no real way to get in without cars bumping over each other. And it's a very bad idea to close this Sutel into two lanes because all the traffic will be congested. Once school buses stop, all the traffic in one lane has to stop behind it. Once city bus stops, all the traffic will have to stop behind the city bus until they discharge its passengers. Not only that, there are two funeral homes on this street. Cars could not line up from the funeral home properly they can do it now with four lanes because one lane can be shut down until everybody gets in the line. But if they change it into two lanes, it's going to be impossible for them to conduct their business properly. It's going to be mass traffic jams all over Sutel if we turn this into a two-lane highway. And okay. it remains four lanes so that businesses can have uh, a, a proper uh, entrance for people to come in and shop in their business. No major corporation, no major company is going to open up on this street if it's co it condensed into two lanes. Four lanes is what we need. Diet, diet, diet. Stop the road diet. We're not weight watchers. Restricting traffic don't help businesses. When you turn it into a two lane, we already fought to make it a four lane. It's a four lane. You don't fix the wagon if it don't need fixing. When you turn it into a two lane, that restricts business. That hurts the business. We don't want it. Don't want it, no. This is the Neighborhoods Bill of Rights, and I ask that all city council read it and obey it because it's part of their oath that they took and was sworn in. It says that they would follow the charter and all city ordinances, and this is one of those. We already talked about how the study has shown the uh, Charter Revision Final Review talked about how there are profound disparities in our neighborhood. We're Zone 1 Health. Uh, they listed by zip codes 32208 is included in uh, 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 suffering from disparities. And um, they have been for 50 plus years, so says the report. Since 1968, with consolidation, the money that they're trying to give to Lot J needs to be coming to the urban core that they have neglected for all of these 50 plus years.